Rebecca, and I'm on Team Red with Aaron Weiser and Alex Jakubovic and Drew Pace and Ashley Ward. And this is my last presentation. Um, I'm going to go over our system really quick, cover our new SSOC, new step response, and our PI controller. And then, if you're interested, I can go over the other experiments. Um, this? Okay. Um, this is our SSOC. You guys know what that is. Input output versus time. Our level range is 2 to 12 centimeters. And we found out that we have a minimum power of 38% before the system will start moving water. We found this out like four weeks ago. That's a good thing to know when you're doing controller experiments. And the objective of this was to find the system gain. And due to equipment changes, after I replaced the differential pressure sensor in the system, it behaved differently. So I went back and made a new SSOC, which here's the new behavior. You guys know what this is. This is the new SSOC, and now we have three different gains. We have from zero to three centimeters, a gain of one and a half. From three to ten centimeters, we have a gain of 0.9. And from 10 to 12, which is my range, we have a gain of 0.7. And for your viewing pleasure, this is our old SSOC, where we try to give it one slope. So, new one, old one. It's behaving much better now. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was the middle of April. So, happy day. And while I was making it into SSOC, I just did step response. And step response helps you find tau and t naught, which you use when you're calculating the PI model. And there's that. Look at that. There's that. Blah, blah, blah. There's t naught. Time it takes to start responding, and tau is delta C times 63.2. And we use those equations. These are the constants for our system. Um, they are, since our gain was what changed, we're hoping that tau and t naught did not change, but we haven't had time to go back and analyze all of that because. Our system has fatality in the So now I'm going to go to the root locus plotting for a proportional integral controller. Um, root locus objective is to estimate the controller gain for desired damping levels. Um, it uses a system transfer function for the first order plus dead time of the system. <coughs> and you also substitute Pade's approximation in the algebra. Excel, where did it go? Hold on. I pushed too many buttons and it freaked out. Okay. My picture is gone. Okay. You guys know what this is. Um, this is a proportional integral controller root locus plot for tau i in my range of 50. Um, you use the modeling to find different levels of decay. Um, critical decay, 1 500ths, 1 tenth, quarter, and ultimate, which is marking stability. And I'm going to use this. This is gain. It doesn't say gain, but it is. So the higher you get, the more unstable it becomes until it passes zero on the axis there. Um, the PI controller is proportional integral and it uses tuning parameters to make the system behave more like what you want. And it has special equations that you use um, to plug into the system itself that it calculates, I mean, that it uses to Control the system, there you go. Kc is 0.9 over your k value, and t0 over tau, and t0 
tau i is 3.33 times the t naught that we found using the stuff. Okay. Using the SSOC and our new our system calls the found t naught. We now can get system parameters for experiments. These, this slide and the next one, are the values that my team was planning to use for the PI controller experiments. Aaron was going to, Aaron's set point is three centimeters. His baseline is 42. His K value is 1.3 centimeters. That's from the new SSOC. And for three different values of TI, of tau I, he tested uh, the critical decay and the one five hundredths decay of our system. So six total experiments. Um, we had planned for Otis, Drew, Ashby, and myself to all do the same thing, but our software is malfunctioning, our computer keeps scratching. So we have comprehensive results for the two testing meter range that I get to talk about. Um, this is a TI of 10 and a critical decay of 0 0.01. And that causes a lot of instability in our system. And um, means the controller is very sensitive. Um, this is a step up. It's a TI of 10 again. But this time, the KC is 0 0.05, which is the KC 500. It's a tiny bit better. This is the, the prior one, um, 0 0.02. Maybe. Anyway. And this is at a t tau I of 50. And his KC, his critical K is 0 0.01. And this is the same tau i of 50 with a KC of 1,500, which is 0 0.2, 0 0.0, sorry, 2%. I can't talk. This is behaving much better than before. If you will look at, this is the tau i of 50 at the KC 500. This is tau i of 10 at KC 500, and this is tau i of 50 at KC500, and the system is, as the controller becomes less sensitive, the system is able to respond in the way that we want it to. Going on to a tau I of 200, the system is, a, is showing very quick response to our inputs. That's good. Oh, that was it. This is 200 as well. It's hard for me to... So at the 200 levels, it's behaving better. And the results from our training parameter experiment so far is that a smaller tau i requires a smaller kc to maintain stability. And the larger kc increases stability. So ultimately, we're going to want this value right here, which is a kc of 1% at a tau I of 200, because that is giving the best behavior currently. If you're interested, I can go over other useful experiments that we can run on our system that currently have no pertinent data. You got four minutes. Okay.